What is going on guys, it's Chronix here, in today's GTA 5 online video I'm going to be taking a look at the mobile operation centre truck, so if you enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. Okay, so for the first thing we're going to look at is the customization. As you can see, I've got the hull custom, which is like a squared front. It looks really cool. For the first bay, you can either have the living quarters or the command center. I have the command center, as you can see. For the second bay, I have the weapon workshop. And for the third bay, I think that's my living quarters. Yeah, it is. And uh, for the interior color, I have like a red seat thing. But yeah, let's move on to the next bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside the bunker. It looks really cool. But I'm just going to jump inside it and drive it outside. Okay, now I'm outside. As you can see, it looks really cool. What, what I like the most about it, though, is how it has just a square front and it looks really cool. It's just straight. And, uh, yeah, let's just go inside it and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so this is the living quarters inside the truck. It looks really cool. As you can see, you can have some friends over and you can just chill. And that TV as well also lets you start some missions. But this is the weapons workshop, this is really cool as well because you can buy loads of weapons and this is the coolest part of the truck, the, mo the actual mobile operation center because you can actually shoot guns, like you could get, while you're driving you could get your friends to uh, shoot the gun at the front as you can see in a second, I'll get onto it now. You can see, as you can see it's really cool, it shoots like rockets, that's the best thing about it, you can just blow things up. Okay, so now going back inside the truck, I'm just going to show you what you can do on that TV. As you can see, it's just like the missions that you can do inside the office where you can start up those missions and use the ramp buggies and stuff. As you can see, we're just in these missions, it looks like you'll just be able to use all the these DLC vehicles and that'd be really cool. As you can see, I've not actually unlocked them yet because I've not done any of the missions, but I'm actually going to be doing a live stream tonight where I'm going to do all that. Right, now I'm just going to actually see how many rockets and explosions this mobile operation center can take because it's one of the most crucial parts when you're online against other players. As you can see, that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so as you can see, the actual front part where you drive it took six explosions to destroy it. I don't know if you can actually destroy, I just accidentally killed myself, but I don't know if you can actually destroy the mobile operations center at the back. I don't know if you can actually destroy it, but we're just going to try it anyway. So we were on seven explosions, we're just going to see if it can actually blow up. So that's eight, nine, 10. It doesn't look like it's blowing up, you know. I think the actual bit at the back, the actual mobile operation center, is indestructible. It won't die. As you can see, I'm firing a lot of rockets at it and it's not destroying at all. Oh, and it seems to have disappeared. It looks like it just disappears after you've uh, used it too many times. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.